PBX stands for Private Branch Exchange. It's an odd name to describe what it really is, which is your phone system. All of these telephones that we have on our desks at our office are not all directly connected back to our service provider for our long distance or local services. They're connected to a box in our data center called the PBX. The PBX is generally also more than just a phone service. It might host our IVR, which stands for Interactive Voice Response, so that when customers call us, they get a phone prompt that says, press 1 to talk to sales, press 2 to talk to technical support, and so on. You also have your voicemails, usually all stored somewhere in your PBX. You have an administrator of the PBX who creates reports from this information of the calls that go in or go out. And when somebody's put on hold, there's music, and that usually comes from inside of your PBX as well. One thing that tends to be very common with the PBX is that it is so reliable. Your telephone system tends to be something we always count on. We can pick up the phone, always have a dial tone, and usually be able to talk to whoever we would like to. And when there's a problem with your PBX, you know when it's not working. And many people have decided that a PBX for them is a lot of upkeep. There's a lot to think about to have the PBX on site. Maybe a better option would be to have a virtual PBX that lives somewhere else other than our facility. We're already putting our servers in the cloud, our networks in the cloud. It makes perfect sense to put our voice communications in the cloud as well. And with virtual PBX, you have this capability. Simply contract with a third party and have all of our phones connect to that virtual PBX. We don't have any of the concerns that we would have with having that equipment on site. But you would still have the same capabilities. You still have call forwarding and your interactive voice response and your calls on hold and your voicemail. It's just that all of these things are hosted outside of your building in that virtual PBX. You don't have any infrastructure on site except for the telephone, of course. You pick up the phone, and it communicates to this virtual PBX over voice over IP. And these days, that's a very common protocol to use. And it's one that allows you to have very minimal infrastructure at your site, but still all of the capabilities and functionality you have as if a PBX was located in the building. Now, you may need additional network configurations to make this happen. There's going to be an extra requirement for bandwidth, because now all of your voice communication is going out of that connection. And you may have to think about quality of service. You don't want somebody who's surfing the net having any type of impact on the ability for you to hear or make phone calls. There may be a big cost savings associated with this, because PBXs are not inexpensive. And the more your organization grows, the more that PBX will cost. So by having Having this provided at a third party, you can keep your costs low. You don't have to purchase any hardware to have any of this operate properly. Obviously, there's no power costs because that is all being hosted at a third party. And as your organization changes, if you get larger or you get smaller, it's very easy now to change exactly the way your telephone system is going to work.